that we feel we help retailers and brands to sell more by embedding video reviews on their online shops. Voice AI is a customer experience research platform that helps clients better inform product strategy, reduce risk and improve development strategy by helping them turn their customer conversations into insights. Technically by training, I did philosophy, politics and economics. My background is in engineering. I studied geomatics engineering. It really taught me how to think about the world from a very critical perspective. I've found in the past 10 years no other way of realizing your ideas, following your vision and staying true to yourself than as being an entrepreneur. I had always known all my life that I'd be an entrepreneur since I was 16. It was really just about finding the right problem that would lead me to jump straight into a specific project or a startup. I don't think there's a true difference between male and female founders. I experience any founder to be a person, a human being that is deeply driven by passion and by an idea. I think every founder will tell you that it's incredibly difficult. It's not so much the problem you're trying to solve, but more the personal motivation to get past any obstacle that comes your way. I think we do see less women in tech because women might actually wonder where's the empathy in tech. Getting used to hearing no quite a lot, that's one of the most difficult things to overcome. But once you do that, then you know the world's your oyster. Being a female founder in a very tech-oriented space comes with a whole plethora of, of challenges. One is for sure to have a stance, to be heard, uh, to make sure that your voice is as much weighted as everyone else's. And you probably have to work a little harder for it. You will be challenged twice. I think many CTOs in the startup space are still trying to figure it out. Being a female compounds that because everybody still doubts that you could do it. So it's like double the amount of effort and doubt. There are tough games that you need to be able to play. Negotiations, protecting your team. You better be up for the challenge. People really tend to listen to what I'm saying versus how I'm saying it. The stereotype is that men can say anything, whether they're right or wrong, they're just given the benefit of the doubt. You know, I've taken that with a pinch of salt because it's just made me be better, be more sure of what I'm saying. But the underrepresentation of women certainly is something that needs to be tackled for any sector out there. It's always good to have a healthy balance. It's really difficult being a woman in the space. You either have to emulate how men do things or really justify why you try to give it the female approach. So just letting women be in the space and you'll actually be surprised at how well we just naturally do. In the end, women in tech is definitely something that needs to be emphasized and I definitely want to see more women in tech.